everybody, welcome back to D Diet. I have something to show you. I think this is really cool. You know, I went to the store today. There's nobody in the stores, nobody. This Corona thing, I don't know. I think it's got everybody crazy. But I did go to the Amish pantry and I wanna show you what I found. Now this is Troyer's ground beef in a can. Now, just so that you know, this is one pound, 12 ounces. I think the can cost, and don't quote me, I think the can cost about $15, which I would see is comparable to almost two pounds of beef in a can. So, and ground beef, it is 14 servings in here, two ounce servings, but 70 calories per serving. Of course, there's no carbs. Anybody on low carb might love to have this. And I know that the expiration on here is 2023. This is great for short-term storage, I'm telling you right now. So when I went in there, I said, do you ship? And they said, absolutely. So I'm going to leave the information below just in case there's somebody that wants to get some ground meat or some beef or some chicken all in a can because it is delicious. I've had it before. I've never had the ground beef. So I figured why not try it in front of all you guys. We're gonna open it up and then make sloppy joes for dinner tonight. So let's get started. Okay, this is, you guys don't have to see me. I'm just gonna use my trusty can opener. I'm gonna go right into this and we're gonna open it up together and we're gonna see. Now I know some of you might have electric can openers, but again, in time of an emergency or you had a blackout, guess what? You better have a lot of can openers on hand because you're gonna need them. Okay. Mm. Let me open the can. Okay, you're seeing it. Okay, here's the fat right on the top. You can see the fat, right? Mmm. Smells beefy, that's for sure, because it is. And now, oh wow. Wow, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I want you to take a look. This is just ground beef. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the can. I mean in a pan, and we're just going to heat it through. See, there we go. Okay, so it definitely smells like beef, no doubt about it. Ground beef, it's beautiful, it's lean. Honestly, you could eat it right out of the can and I'm going to. Mm, it's good. I'm gonna put it in a pan, juice and all. I'm not gonna put the fat in just so that you guys know, because I'm gonna heat this through, but I'm not gonna put the fat, and you can tell how beautiful this had to be. I mean, here's the pieces of fat, but I didn't put it in. So I'm just going to put this on the stove. Mmm. At first you think, that looks like dog food. But I can guarantee you, it doesn't taste like it. It tastes really good. So at the time that I purchased this, and this is lat from last year, but I was just there just a little while ago. So I purchased uh, some other things, but I thought, you know what? Everyone is looking around for really good protein sources. So why not want, rip one of these out of my storage and show it to you guys and then make something with it, which is just gonna be sloppy Joe. And you can feed a lot of people. I mean, this is almost two pounds of ground beef. So it is fully cooked. You could eat it out of the can if you had to, but I'm just gonna let it heat through. And then I'll show you when it's all heated through. And then I'll put my Sloppy Joe mix in or your Manwich mix. And we'll have a quick and easy sandwich together. But I have to say, this looks really good, really good. And of course, if you wanted to brown some onions and peppers, and put them in here too, you could. If you wanted to put tomato sauce in here, you could and make a beautiful meat sauce, a bolognese sauce. Having these things on hand are essential. There's only so much pasta and rice you're going to wanna eat because having beef in a can is ideal. So I'm gonna let this heat through and then I'll show it to you. These are great. Can openers, you should have tons of them. I tell everybody this. Don't just have one in your house. Buy a few, have them on hand. There we go. Let's open this up. 
Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, a little piece is stuck. Don't you love that when that happens? Oh, now it's gonna shoot all over the place. There we go. Okay, well, there we go. Let's put it inside. Hello. We'll put it in with the ground beef. And we're back. Hello. And you know Doug. We're back. I want to show you the plate. Doug, show yours too. It's called a sloppy joe. Mmm. And the little, we have the little ramekin with some baked beans in it. Yes, Yum. we couldn't put them on a plate. We needed a ramekin. And I have to show you these pickles. These are the best. I get these at the Amish store too. And these are a zesty pickle, so they're hot and spicy and sweet. <gasps> they are delicious. You don't delicious. Like hot and spicy. It is a little spicy, but they're good. Oh, they smell so good. So that's quick. That's really quick to be able to make this meal. And when you think about it, we did everything from a can. The baked beans, the meat. The man which saw us, it all came from a can. Now in a true apocalypse, you can cook them on your portable stove. Let me take some of these pickles. Oh my gosh, don't they look good? Oh my goodness. I just have to show you what the pickle looks like. There's a little pepper on the pickle. Do you see it? Oh my goodness. I'm a purist, I just have these. Mmm, mmm, they're so good. Mmm, really good. Culinary rapture. Mm-hmm. And I have some crystal light. So we're gonna try this. And we're gonna see how it is. And I got a potato roll. I know, hit me, it's a carbohydrate. Go right ahead, go right ahead. D diet, off the off rails. rails. <laughs> mmm. Mm-hmm, mmm. I haven't had a sloppy joe in years. Mm -hmm. In years. Isn't that good? It's really good. Tastes good. Now throw a little ghost chili in there. You throw your own ghost chili in there. <laughs> I'm not having no ghost chili. So we went down to the Amish pantry today. I hadn't seen Terry and I haven't seen Alice in a really long time. Between the holidays and Buddy that got sick and, you know, just running around like crazy two people. We wanted to go down there. And when I saw the pickles, hello, I thought, no, I have to bring some of those home. And I saw the whoopies, hello. And he brought a lot of the whoopie pies home, that's for sure. I think you bought them all. Mm -mm. Or you didn't? It looked like it. We left some in the freezer. Oh, okay. Mm. But anyway, um, the canned beef was a big deal. Now, I have other canned beef down in my basement that comes from Troyer's. And if you're anybody that's interested in getting canned beef, you can, I will put Alice's and Terry's information underneath. Uh, there is a website you can go to. They will ship it to you. And who knows? I mean, what's going on nowadays? People are losing their minds. There's a lot of stuff off this. We went into a grocery store. There was a lot of stuff not there, which is very strange. Well, not really, because everybody's like panicking at this point. Mmm. Mmm. I like baked beans. I really don't have them that often. That's really good. But I decided that, you know, I'm going to get some of my canned beef, which we did. We have the ground beef. That's what this is made of. And I have to tell you guys, it's good. And there's so many different things you could do with the ground beef. If you want to make tomato sauce and just, just do a meat sauce or my mother's idea of chili when we were growing up, ground beef, baked beans, and rice. Yeah, that, that was our chili. <laughs> That's the poor man's chili. That's right, because we were not rich. We, you know, we, nobody had money. And you had to feed three kids. So you know what? You got a little ground beef. And at that time, ground beef was cheap. Not no, we anymore. Were, we were rich, but we didn't have money. It's true. We were rich in family. But you know what? Do you remember years ago when people... You know, nobody ever said anybody was poor or they didn't have. We always had a roof over our head. We had a meal in our belly. You know, we had our mom and dad. So to us, we were rich. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, nowadays, I don't think people consider that rich. But I do. 
I consider that rich when you have your family around you. I really do. Let me take another bite. And your health. Well, you have your health, you have your wealth. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Mmm. So good. These are the best. I don't know what's in them, but... Well, of course, it's Amish. They make the best. They make the best of everything. I don't know if they ship pickles, but I'll be honest, if they did, or if you ever get to Nescapec, Pennsylvania, stop in there. These are so good. I love these pickles. I love them. Mmm. Mm. I think they're made by the Troyers, too, because it says Millersburg, Ohio. Well, in here, it has... A little bit of pepper, just a little bit of heat, not a lot of heat, because I can't do heat heat. But it also has onion slices. They're delicious, and it's all pickled, and it's sweet. Oh, it's a disgrace. It's so good. But I just wanted to show you the canned beef. I wanted to show you what we picked up and how easy this is. So if we're in a time where you're looking for beef and um, you don't have freeze-dried beef, and there's not a cow available. And there's not a cow available. And you do like beef or you like chicken. This might be a really good solution because I think the beef in the cans, the beef in the can, not the chopped meat that we're just having, but the beef in the can, I think Terry said that has a 10-year shelf life. And I will cook with that because we've already had that. Oh. That is out of this world. Out of this world is the beef in the can, not the, the ground beef they have. But the beef also in the can, I don't know. Well, what it's they like eat. a whole stew, I think. Does it have vegetables? No, it has nothing in there oh, but just beef. The beef. That's it. That and works. it is delicious. It is delicious, delicious, delicious. Delicious. And I'll be you know how many sandwiches I can make out of that stuff that I just that I just made? Out of that can? That's like a twenty eight ounce. It was a pound and fifteen ounces. That's a big can. So there's a lot of beef in there. You can make a lot of sandwiches. And it's really good. I can eat a lot of sandwiches. But I like the potato roll. I'm sorry, I just do. Mmm. 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 Delicious. So, I'm going to have a little bit more of this. Mmm. This is so good. Till I see you all again, I'm glad you stopped over. I'm glad you got a chance to see what canned beef looks like, ground beef. Looks like ground beef. It is ground beef. Oh, yeah. It was ground beef. And it's absolutely delicious. And I'll leave the link underneath. So if you want to go and check it out for yourself, you can. Everybody's running around like crazy people looking for this and looking for that. They ship. And it's Amish. You can't beat it. You just cannot beat it. So I'll talk to you all again, my friends. Take it easy. Be safe out there. And remember, be kind to one another. The heart. That's all that's going to matter. Bye-bye. Later.